Hi Joseph. Hi. Maybe you can tell us more about yourself, your names and what you have. My name is doing. Joseph Wakapa. Um started rugby keeping 2012 in December. I came back from the States in January 2012, ventured into dairy farming and started rabbit farming in December. Maybe you can brief us on your rabbit, the rabbits you have here in your cage. I have a, a Flemish giant. It's a giant male. Mm -hmm. I use it uh, for breeding. Mm -hmm. I breed, I use it, I, I, I breed uh, medium sized rabbits and uh, giant female rabbits, the does and the bucks. Why do you breed between medium sized and giants? To get a giant offspring. Okay. Which is good for meat, matures faster, and gains weight faster. It, it will carry the genes of the giant. Okay. Yeah. How many rabbits do you have in this cage? C c per cage, I have one. I usually separate the does and the bucks. Okay. It stays uh, after with the litter. It stays with six weeks, and start winning the kids at six weeks old. Okay. And why did you decide to do the rabbit farming at R first pace? I was introduced by my uh, cousin and through research I saw it, it was untapped pot potential and uh, untapped uh, market. How many rabbits can you hold in this uh, house of yours? I can hold 30 to 40 full grown and uh, around 300 plus the kids, the litters. Most of the time people say that there is no market for rabbits. Where do you market your rabbits? The market, we have markets everywhere, just near us. You can market the meat in butcheries, mm -hmm. in supermarkets, in schools, in hospitals. Uh, there are many people who come from abroad, like United States, and they don't venture into farming. Why did you decide to venture into farming? I've grown in a farm. Uh, my parents were farmers. I started um, doing dairy farming. I'm a Maasai. Mm -hmm. I love animals. Yeah. That's why I ventured into farming. What advice do you have for the young, uh, for the youth of Africa and Kenya in regards to youth and agriculture? Determination. Put your heart where and do what you want to do. Don't give up. Something small will take you places and will give you a lot of money. Do you think there is future in agriculture? A lot, a whole lot of future. There is a lot of money. Without everybody has to eat. Mm -hmm. Without food, nobody's going to go to work. So in agriculture, there's always going to be a market for food, 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 food.